Tim Allen Dick. Tim the Tool Man Taylor. He played Santa Claus in that movie. He was the voice of Buzz Lightyear. And before all of that, 1978, Tim Allen was busted for drug trafficking. Now, I don't think a lot of people know this. What's so funny about it is uh, somebody was telling me they was in the pen with uh, Tim Allen back in the day. I think this was when he got in the pen for drunk driving years after this, man. But let's talk about it. Hood stories. Whoever thought we'd be doing a hood story on Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Won't be mad that you listen to the video. All right. So in 1978, Tim Allen, he went to Western Michigan. So I guess he had relocated to the Michigan area. Western Michigan is in Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's about, what, hour 30 away from Detroit for me. And uh, he got arrested at the Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport. And, you know, they had an undercover co- a co- undercover cop that was, I guess, following Tim, Tim, uh, Tim Allen. All right. So at the time, in 78, the airports was probably a lot easier to move contraband on. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot easier to do it, you know, you know, going in the 90s and then after 9-11, it's tough to do anything there. You can have drug or have marijuana in L.A. and like Denver in the airports. For people who don't know, you can have, I forget, I think as much as it's a few grams you can have in your carry-on. You know what I'm saying? But back to the story at hand. He got caught. They did an undercover sting on him. He got caught at the airport with 650 grams of cocaine. All right. He is from Denver, Colorado. So he went to school at Western as a communications major. So I'm pretty much sure, you know, being a college kid, it's hard to make it. You know what I'm saying? You got to get a job or you got to do what he did. You know, neighbors think I'm selling dope. Tim, Tim Allen. So he got caught and then he snitched. He gave up his name you know, uh, to the dealers, he was facing a long ass sentence and most people, um, when most people get sentenced, uh, most people get caught with the drugs, they get long sentences, but when they get those long sentences, when they get the, uh, when they get the charges, you know, they talk, you know, even the toughest of the toughest get to snitching and Tim Allen gave up the name of his dealer. Uh, his dealer probably gave up the name of his dealer, you know, but he ended up getting what? uh three to seven years he went to a uh a, a, a prison in minnesota to do his time he did two years and four months he got parole and he changed his life around now a little bit after that he got a dui in bloomfield michigan now that's like 30 minutes away from me he got a dui you know that's when the person i was talking to spent some time with him in prison so he turned his life around. So for people out there, um, you know, who think it ain't no hope, it was different. He got a, he had a what a bachelor's or a, my, a master's in communications, and you you wouldn't even know he he went through that, you know, more how su- successful how he went, and then how he carried himself, you know, from seventy eight to ninety one and ninety when uh, home improvement was on. You know, he went on to do Toy Story, you know, uh, the Santa movie. I can't remember the name of it. He went on to do a lot of different endeavors. Last Man Standing, which is a pretty good show as well, too. And he turned his name around. Now, if he was uh, black, would he would have had that success story like that? Probably not. You know, is there some black people that got a similar story to that? Yeah, you people forget Mark Wahlberg is a stone cold racist. He threw rocks at black students on the beach. He knocked out a Vietnamese man's eye in the street fight. Go check out his 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 arrest record. Mark Warburg's a stone cold racist, but you couldn't the way they he re you know he rejuvenated and reinvented himself. You can't tell it. You couldn't even tell Tim Taylor was was a, or Tim Allen was a dope dealer. You know, but that's one of the that's one of the things about having a degree behind you and having the complexion for the protection. He turned it around, and he he came out to be a damn good actor. He had a damn great career, you know, and he turned it around. You know, did he stumble after that with the DUI? Yeah, he won nine kids in his family. You know, Western, not a bad university neither, but people be needing money in college. You know, the black students ain't the only ones going out there, you know, <laughs> getting it how they live. Sometimes money be funny. And, you know, he, he did snitch, 
You know, and most people say, oh, he a snitch. Most people that get that time do snitch. Somebody tell you 20 years to life or 20 years. Man, all y'all snitching. The majority of y'all snitching. It's some dudes that got YouTube channels that ain't snitched. I ain't saying no names. Not saying that snitching is okay, but it's different when it's the Rico law. It's different when it's the Rockefeller law. It's different when you get them years. What you what you gonna be sitting in jail jail for for twenty thirty years, for what? To say you come back to the hood, you know, twenty years later, everybody did to say you a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? But some situations, you snitch, they killing you, or they think you snitch, they killing you. So you gotta really, you know, kind of reassess yourself when you do something of this nature. But different dope game than seventy eight, all the way two thousand twenty. Everything is stepped on, and re rocked, and you know, it really ain't no money in the game. That's why these dudes out here swiping and scamming. But, hey, I'll link the article in the description so you can check it out. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, if you request, or social media. No more email. Hit me up on social media. We can chop it up, man. But I do appreciate everybody, man. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out, PayPal. Their best way to donate is share the video. Check out our Hood Series uh, playlist. One time for the one time. Goodfellas Sports TV. Appreciate the love support. It's two time. <laughs> we go.